safeguard. What's up, man? Good to see you. Don't mind if I grab a quick interview? Mm -hmm. You're from Brooklyn, too. You must be a boxer, too. Thank you. How's it going, man? You put it Come on, bro. Edgar, how you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, the chosen one, Edgar. I remember we had this conversation a long time ago, and you manifest, I want to fight Canelo Alvarez, and we here, you made it happen. How does it feel, you know, this fight for you in your career? It was amazing, man. You know, I want to thank God for this opportunity. You know, we've been seeing, like you said, we've been saying this for years, man, and we got the opportunity, uh, you know, to become a legend in the sport. Man. You know, without my hard work and keeping God first, man, I don't think I'll be here. You know, so I keep my head down, stay humble, stay sharp mentally, you know, and we just focus on September 14th. Man. Hey, the ones that we know, like myself, that, you know, you started training in the small camps and all of that, and now you're bringing this fight at the elite fights. What does it mean for you, like, now to compete in against Canelo? It's a dream come true, man. You know, um, we got the opportunity. You know, that's what counts. Now I got to make the best of it. Now I got to go out there and shine like a superstar. You know, go out there and put on a show for the people, you know, from the island, you know, to become a legend. Hey, hey I, I always said, you know, wish you nothing but the best for you and your father because, hey, I've been close to you guys, you know, and, and eventually I've seen the hard work that you always bring. It's exciting to see every every fan coming after you and ask for a picture what does it mean when you know for you to see you know this young generation when they come in and ask you for a picture things like that and eventually the fight that you having right now it feels amazing man you know i'm, I'm happy you know what i'm saying i'm happy I'm happy, you know what I'm saying, to be in this position, man. This is a dream come true, you know. I'm giving kids hope. Like, when kids, mama, I, I come from the hood, from, from the trenches. I come from projects, from shelter homes. So when kids see me coming up, it's different, man. You know, I give, I'm giving them hope. I'm showing them that if I did it, you could do it, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. Like, it comes down to that, you know. Wish you nothing but the best, Edgar. 